Hey YouTube, this is the Lee Pro 1000, uh, set up in 9mm. I wanted to do a quick uh, video to show how easy it is to change out caliber size. First, take off your powder measure. If you have another powder measure, which I intend to get, it would be simple just to dump the powder. But, Take that off. I'm gonna go with 380. Oops. I'm gonna have to change the gel plate. Stick with Phillips right in here to keep it from turning. Turn to the right. That'll loosen it up. And it's just a spindle on the top. I think that's good enough there. Move your probably should have lifted these primers out. Take this little pin out here for the uh, bullet dump. If I just move the case feed and I think I set a primer. That would have been smart to take my wire and hold those back. I'll probably do that now. I know it's not even necessary. Anyway, just go ahead and clean out any dumps that's in there. There's a little bit of Residue. I grease it just a little bit. See the gunpowder in there? I probably made about 1200 9 millimeter. This is the last time I changed out the shell plate. 9 millimeter and 40, I should say, because it uses the same shell plate. Anyway, that's a little cleaned up. Put the number 4 in. And let's drop that in. Remove the case sensor. Make sure it's lined up. And you can use a wrench, but I just have a uh, like an, an Allen socket here. Now it's going to be just the reverse. I think I get it threaded right. I'll go to the right and try to fix. There we go. I'm pushing just a little pressure on the shell plate, turning it to the left. It's left. Make it tight. Lefty tighty, as opposed to righty tighty. So just make a little snug. I'll put the Phillips on there for that. I'm going to put my, for better terms, I'll call it the bullet dump pin, right? It's kind of awkward getting it in there. It's a nice thing. There's a little alignment slot. And just screw that back down. Take your 380 dies and turret. Set that in place. Screw this back down. Attach the spring. You might have a chain. So I just had this spring wrapped underneath here. It's worked out really well. I broke this, the chain like the first 600 rounds I did. But now we're going to check and make sure the time is on. Which it isn't. Take your Phillips, and there's a screw right here. And while the press is in the downward motion, you just turn this to the right. That's how you hear it click. And there it goes. A little bit more. That's what I typically do. And I'll check it again. Wow, that was that was really difficult. Uh, now I'm set up for 380. To give you a little view of what I was talking about. I don't know the proper terminology for it, but it's that little pin right there. And all I've done, now you can run on the 19 shell plate, you can run 40 caliber on that as well, 40 S and W. 
and uh, you don't have to change that out. The only thing you do have to change if you're going to run 40 is right here, this little silver collet has to be taken out. And what you'll do if you can see it, maybe barely, there's a little, you can see it in between these tubes, there's a little screw right in the middle here. And um, you just take off the tubes, unscrew that, and this half a piece right here will come off. You see where it turns, that pops off. Take that silver collet out. And then you take off, you take off the Z bar. You have to use, and I learned this the hard way. I didn't know you had to have a bent Z bar, but these are like two dollars. And you get a bent Z bar. See how it's a little bent? You can see that. Anyway, you get a bent Z bar. Midway, I think I got them for uh, two dollars and forty-nine cents. And uh, you throw that bent Z bar on there, and you can do uh, 40, 45s, any larger calibers that you want. Providing, of course, you have the dies for it. But this has been a great press. Um, I'm completely happy with it. It's given me little to no problems. Of course, I, the priming tube, a little bit of problem. But anyway, that's how easy it is to change it out. Now all I have to do, which I won't show you on the video, I have a micro adjustment uh, powder bar here, and it's been it's been a great great buy like nine bucks as opposed to these these auto discs that it comes with because they don't dial in exact load if you want to do five point i'm just giving you an example 5.7 grain this thing will run you know 5.5 or 5.4 let's say you have a medium load or even a short load that requires 5.7 you probably can't get it on that and i was giving you an example 5.7 i forgot what my actual load was that it bothered me because i had to use more powder and get a medium load when I wanted a just a plinking load. So I bought this thing and it's been great. It'd take me all of maybe five minutes tops to adjust. And that's including running a primed case, uh, or at least one that's got a cap in it, whether it's been shot or it doesn't matter. And I'll run it through, I'll dump powder, I'll dump powder, and I'll keep doing that. I'll cycle it through and I'll weigh it probably six, seven times, get it dialed in, and then you're good to go. Anyway. Lee Pro 1000, can't beat it for the money, that's for sure. Take it easy.